Okay, so I've arrived here in Venice. This is my first time in Venice. I've been around the world, nearly a hundred countries, lots of really off the beaten path tourism destinations, but I've never been to Venice, so that's kind of funny. Um, I really, really, really don't know why I never came here. I guess it just was never, you know, in my path. Um, but within like a minute of arriving off the train and taking the water ferry to my hotel, I realized why this place is so popular. It's just so fascinating. It's so cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I just arrived. I really have no idea what there is to shoot, what there is to photograph, where to photograph. I haven't done research because I'm just coming off of Morocco and I was so busy in Morocco, I haven't planned anything at all. Nothing. So what we're gonna do, we, we've just got two days here, I've just got two days here to, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, is I'm gonna go shoot something. I'm not gonna plan anything, I'm just gonna go shoot stuff. So let's start out by uh, you know heading out. My hotel's right here at, at Mark's, or St. Mark's Square, St. Marco's Square, and I, there's a cool looking bridge. One of my rules in photography is to always find water, and when you're in Venice, there's just a ton of water, so it's not a problem. So my rule here is to try to find the bridges so I can get on top of the water or maybe use the bridges in my photo or something like that. So there's a bridge nearby. There's a big cathedral. I believe it's a cathedral in the background. And that's where we're going to start shooting today. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow. Let's go.
I've now spent the full day here in Venice and I've actually shot two sunsets and one sunrise and it is absolutely beautiful here. It is really cool and it's a fun place to explore. And while it's a fun place to explore, it's a challenging place to photograph actually. With the exception of a couple photo locations that are pretty obvious around St. Mark's Square here, the rest of the city is absolutely cool and a challenge to photograph. Um, one of the photo locations I wanted to shoot is under rest restoration, one of the bridges, which makes it even harder. Um, but then anywhere else I find that's really cool and would make for a great photo, there's nowhere to shoot it from. There's no bridges that cross that part of the canal. And it probably looks coolest from the boats and you can't shoot long exposure photography from boats. So Venice is beautiful. It's a bit of a challenge to photograph, but it's a fun challenge and I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm now here on day two in Venice and the weather is horrendous today. It's overcast and rainy and it's not fun. So I'm going to take this day to do some, some location scouting, not in Venice, but maybe one of the islands. I'm going to try to get to an island called Burano. I think it's called Burano Island, um, which is where all those really colorful houses are on the canal. So uh, I don't know what the ferry schedule is there. I don't know if I can get there and back um, after sunset. But with the weather the way it is, I don't think there's going to be a sunset anyway. So we're going to head over that way, catch a ferry to Burano and uh, explore for a little bit. And if the weather clears up, we'll shoot something at sunset. If not, we'll treat it as a location scouting day because you never know when you're going to come back as a photographer. And it's so nice to have all the best locations scouted out before you come back. So let's go out and explore Burano Island today here in Venice. So guys, that's it from Venice. It was an absolutely awesome time. I'm now all the way in Budapest, which is my home for the month. This is gonna be an office month for me, um, where I'm gonna focus on the business side of photography, which you probably don't see a lot of, which in the future of this blog or this vlog, I'm probably gonna be talking a little bit more about as well, because I know there's a lot of people interested in that as well. You probably won't see the month here in Budapest because I'm so far behind on editing videos um, and, and articles and photos just because this past couple of months has been crazy, crazy. And I'm so looking forward to having some time to chill here in Budapest. Um, back to Venice. Venice was unreal. 
I get it. I totally understand why it's so popular. It's stunning and special. There's nowhere else like it in the world. I've never been anywhere else like it in the world. And that's something that's really special uh, to a travel photographer who's who's really been around the world and gets spoiled a little bit by that fact. So Venice was so cool and I'd love to go back and do some more shooting. As I mentioned a couple times in the video, it was a tough destination to shoot as well. It's hard to find really great locations. There was a couple places under restoration and then the weather wasn't great as well. That being said, considering I was there just three days, I got some cool photos that I'm really happy with, both down at St. Mark's Square, um, where the gondolas park overnight, and then over on both Murano and Burano Island, I got some cool photos that I'm really happy with as well. So um, yeah, fantastic time in Venice. You guys probably, as I mentioned, won't see this month coming in, Ven in, in Budapest just because I'm, I'm gonna be behind my computer and by the time I get these videos caught up, I'll be on the road again. So next destination coming up afterwards is going to be Turkey, where I'm gonna have a, a bit of a road trip in Turkey. That's gonna be fun. I'm also planning on considering and thinking that maybe I'm gonna change how this channel runs a little bit. So stay tuned for an update regarding the future of this travel photography channel here on YouTube. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys later and next time on my next adventure. Peace.